Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. I had a new client just jump into my program, and before she made her decision, she wanted to know what are the things that people struggle with most inside the program? What are the things that people get stuck on the most? Because I was very forthright with her, and I said, this is not a cakewalk. This is not a walk in the park. This is not like join this program and somehow magically leads and clients are going to fall from the sky. <laughs> it's not how it works. If I could do that for you, um, I'd be... I'd be a wealthy man. Let's put it that way. Truth is it's hard work. The truth is you've got to do the work if you want to get results. And the truth is even when when you do the work, you're going to hit roadblocks. You're going to have challenges. And we're going to have to work through those challenges. It's not if you have challenges. It's when you have challenges. We're going to have to work through those. So she wanted to know, and it's a good question, where are people getting stuck? Where can I expect to see those challenges? And honestly, If I had to boil it down to one core challenge that people struggle with, and we're pretty good at getting them over this, by the way, but but the challenge is just getting comfortable in their own skin, positioning themselves as the expert, as the trusted advisor. That's the big challenge. A lot of folks, and it's not their fault, but a lot of folks are caught up in the service provider mindset the pair of hands mindset, the order taker mindset, where they're coming to clients or clients are coming to them. And the posture is, oh, you've got a job to do. I can do the job for you. Oh, you got a project. I can do that project for you. Oh, you have a need. I can address that need for you. I'm a pair of hands. I'm a service provider. I'm an order taker. I'm here to do whatever the heck you want me to do. Not exactly the posture that I encourage my clients to adopt. We want to be experts. We want to be authorities. We want to be seen as influential leaders in the market. But we've got to show up as such. We've got to make our presence known. And we've got to be able to articulate and to craft and to share ideas that are of value to the market. So the market can then see us and reward us as that authoritative figure as that expert, as that influencer. Easier said than done. And here's the interesting thing. The challenge is usually not that you don't have anything interesting to say. That's what people think usually. Well, what am I going to talk about? What what can I say that's of interest to the market? You know, I don't really have anything interesting to say. That's what they think the problem is, but that's not really the problem. When we dig into it and we work out the strategy, and we have our focus entirely on the buyer and their needs, what you're going to say, what you're going to talk about becomes fairly obvious, becomes fairly straightforward. The challenge is having the confidence to actually say it and having the confidence to not call yourself an expert because we don't want to claim expertise. We want to demonstrate expertise, but having the confidence to show up and to create content and to share ideas from the posture of the expert. And to get over and to shed all those limiting beliefs and that identity that you used to have as an order taker, service provider, who's there to show up and do a job for clients and collect a check and get paid, is to shed that identity, to shed that mindset. That's the hardest thing. Now, the good news is, as I assured this new client who joined the program, is that it gets easier. The first few steps are the hardest. So the first time that you show up as a thought leader and you put out a piece of content, whether it's a video or an article or a webinar, whatever it is, that's the hardest. That's where your internal struggle is the most challenging. That's where your internal resistance is the strongest. But then it gets easier every time you do it. And then after a while, it becomes second nature. And after a while, it actually becomes fun. You begin to enjoy it because now you're a contributing value creator in the market. Now you're not just somebody there who's going to collect a check to do a job. You're somebody of influence, of significance in the market. And that's fun. That's enjoyable. It's fun to see your audience and your prospects and your buyers engage with your ideas and use them. 
that's incredibly rewarding. In fact, for me and for most of my clients, more rewarding than money ever could be. It's having our ideas that we came up with, that we thought about, that we articulated, having those ideas actually have a tangible impact on the people that we serve. I mean, that's gratification that money simply can't buy. So I'm sharing this with you because, you know, whether or not you choose to work with me, whether or not you're a client, this is a hurdle you have to get over. And I can promise you this, that on the other side of that hurdle, when you finally get comfortable in those expert shoes, in those authority shoes, that things get a whole lot better. More clients, more revenue, higher fees, and honestly, a whole lot more fun, a whole lot more enjoyment and satisfaction from your business, from your consulting, from your service. Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor. If you like what you hear, go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much.